So be ready to take notes and listen very well. This, this subject, God has dealt with me so much. And he has urged me to share with the church at Koinonia Center, Tasia. And that's where we are here. I want to talk about growing up unto maturity. Growing unto maturity. Growing unto maturity. Let's put it that way. Growing unto maturity. Growing unto maturity. Kukua mpaka ukomai. Growing unto maturity. Why? Because God will never give you what you cannot handle. God will never give you what you cannot handle. God can never give you something and the next minute it kills you. Our God is a father and our father knows what is fit for his children. God will never give you a car and the next moment the car is killing you. Why? God is a father. He is so caring. He will never give you anything you can never handle. He can never give you a job with a salary that will make you leave church. Bwana hata kupea kazi. Bwana hata kupea pesa ambazo zinakuwa na zinakumaliza. That's why every blessing that comes to you, it is always rated. It is always rated. And even the temptation that come unto us, they are always rated. There is no end temptation that comes to you that is bigger that you cannot handle. Because every crisis that comes in our life, it is an avenue for us to demonstrate the power of God. And that's why there is a need to grow up. There is a need to grow up spiritually. And I'll be taking you through serious things. And I'll cover many things so I'll be a bit fast. But I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you today and God is going to help us. There is a need for you to mature. There is a need for you to mature. Do you know, everything begins with babyhood. Everything begins with babyhood. I was, I was watching on television the other day, wakati kulikuwa na siku ya kiswahili, and I saw, is it a, a woman from England, Amber Norway, Mzungu? She was being trained Swahili language. And in the training of Swahili language, that's how she was getting trained. Why? Because she's a baby as far as Swahili is concerned. She, yes, she's mature. Yes, she knows English. But as far as, as far as, as Swahili is concerned, she has not gained mastery, mastery of her Swahili. That's why anafunzwa cheza cheza, imba imba, lia lia. Kama mtoto mdogo. Why? As far as that subject is concerned, she's a baby. So, Christian life, Christian life, it begins with babyhood. Let me tell you the reason why you are here. I, tell, I, I read something. I read something that blew my mind. Let me show you something before we go somewhere. Bible says, the man who first came to David were men who were already distressed. They were men who were already in debt. They were men who were already discontented. They were weak men. But the Bible says, David worked on this man. And over a period of time, Bible began calling them the mighty man of David. They came to him while they were weak. They came to him while they are having stress. They came to him while they were in death. By David, he invested himself inside those men. Until some years, they became the mighty man of David. 1 
1 Samuel 22. Let me show you that scripture. Yeah, let me begin there. 1 Samuel 22. All of us. Let me show you. Yeah. Yeah. Balini ya kute mashaka sawasa wana wewe mali hapa mali hapa sikutaka ilini yeshi First Samuel 22, verse number 2. 22, verse number 2. Let me take you slowly. We, go, we are going somewhere. Don't worry. We are going somewhere. Mm -hmm. First Samuel 22, verse number 2. And everyone who was in distress. Begin verse number 1 so that we get the context. David therefore departed from there mm -hmm. and escaped to the cave of Adullam. Mm -hmm. So when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down to him. And everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented gathered to him. Mm -hmm. So he became captain over them. And there, and there were about 400 men with him. Ebuskiza, wale watu walikuja kwa Daudi mara ya kwanza. They were men who were in distress. Remember this man is running away from Saul. Anakimbia akimondokea Sauli. So this man is running for his dear life. And he is looking for help. Anatafuta usaidizi. Na mandiku inasema wakati anatafuta usaidizi. Wale watu walikuja kwa kekwaza. Ni watu wakona stwezi zao. Ni watu walikuwa na debts. Walikuwa na madeni. Ambebo says they were men. They, uh, everyone was discontented. These are the men. Who came to David when he needed help? I'm talking about maturity, growing unto maturity. We are we are heading somewhere. But David he never discarded these men. Aqua Tupa, Aqua the Rao, he began to invest himself inside these men. He began pouring himself into this man. He began working on them. The way they were. And the Bible says in 2nd Samuel, 2nd Samuel, 2nd Samuel. Let us go to 2nd Samuel 23. 2nd Samuel 23. Up on belly. Let me show you. 2nd Samuel. 23. 2nd Samuel 23. Verse number 8. Let me show you here. I want to show you this man. Hapo tumewana walukuja wakua na madeni wakiwa na mashida, wakiwa na stress. Lakini Daudi akawatukua na akaanza kuinvest, akaanza kuwalea, akaanza kuwalea. He began to to make them. Now let us see after some time what the Bible says about these men. Verse number 8, Rafa. These are the names of the mighty men whom David had. Listen now. He's saying these are the names of the mighty men that David had. Remember, these are the men who came to him first. Wale watu walikuja kwanza. Sasa bilina seme ya kwamba, now they have become mighty men. Haha, continue. Yosheb, Basebeth, the Tachmonite, chief among the captains. He was called Adino the Eznite because he had killed 800 men at one time. Listen. These are the men who are in debt. These are the men who are discontented. These are the men who are in distress. 
But the men grew up such that a single man can kill 800 men alone. Alikuja kama akochini, lakini amegrow in a way that by himself he can slew, he, he slew 800 men by himself. That's why he's called a mighty man. Ha. Next man, verse number 9. And after him mm -hmm. was Eliezer, mm -hmm. the son of Dodo, mm -hmm. the Aoite, one of three mighty men with David, when the, they defiled the Philistines who were gathered there for battle, mm -hmm. and the men of Israel had retreated. Verse 10. He arose and attacked the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand stuck to the sword ebungo jia mimi sema kama ujamaa alipigana vita peke yake mpaka vile alikuwa ameshika uswodi uswodi ukakwama pale ikakuwa au ukagandamana ikakuwa ya kwamba uwezo ukatoa ule uswodi these are the men who are in debts these were the men who are discontented. These were, this, this is among the men who are in distress. But he has grown in capacity such that by himself he can kill men. Mpaka hata usuoti ukua uwezu katoka kwa mkono. Ilezimisha alishikwa hivu. Akatolewa. Mighty man of David. Let's, let's go down one. Let's go down one. Must, that was 11, please. The Lord brought about a great victory that day, mm -hmm. and the people returned after him only to plunder. And after him was, was Shamar, the son of Agi the Ararites. Don't worry about the names, just read. Yes. Mm. The Philistines had gathered together into a troop where there was a piece of ground full of lentils. Uh -huh. So the people fled from the Philistines. Mm -hmm. But he stationed himself in the middle of the field, defended it, and killed the Philistines. Give me verse number 14. Number 14. David was then in the stronghold, mm -hmm. and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. Aha, 15. And David said with longing, mm -hmm. Oh, that someone, that someone would give me a drink of the water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gates. Ebu post, David, and a desire much. Ebu nifuate, we are going somewhere. I'm talking about growing unto maturity. So David is zasty. Na ile madi neza patkana iko katikati mwamaadui. The holy source of water, it is in the mickey of the enemies. So David says, I am longing for water. How I desire whether there is someone out of here who can get me water. Na anajua vizuri hiyo maji, iko miongoni mwa matui. Aha, continue. Verse 16. Yes. So the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines. Let me tell you. Let's go slow. Let me tell you. This is what we call nurturing people and mentoring people. A disciple is never greater than his teacher. And anyone who is mentored, he can risk his life for the sake of his mentor. But nowadays it's not like that. Bible says, wakati awa, awa vijana walisikia hivo. Wakajua ya kwamba, uni yule mtu, alituokota wakati atuku kitu na katutengeneza na katu invest. Awezi ya kafa na kiu while we are here, we better die. But we shall make our efforts to make sure uyu tugu, uyu, uyu jamaa, uyu mfalme, ata kufa kwa kiu while we can help. They say, aniliza uliwe na kitu ingine. Lakini ya wezi akauliwa na kiu while we are here. 
We shall go to get the water. If we perish, we perish. Hey. Hey. We continue. Three water from the well of Bethlehem mm -hmm. that was by the gate mm -hmm. and took it and brought it to David. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, he would not drink but poured it out to the Lord. David yakaangalia ile maji akuikunywa akaimwaga chini. Kwa nini? Next verse. And he said, mm -hmm. "Far be it from me, O oh Lord, that that I should do this. Is this not the blood of the men who went in jeopardy of their lives?" Akasema nikikunywa hii maji ni kama nitakuwa nakunywa damu ya hawa watu. Sababu gani? These men they risked their life. They jeopardized their lives for the sake of their mentor. They risked they risked their necks. They put their necks into risk so that they may help David. David akasema, "Imagine nikikunywa ni kama nitakuwa nakunywa damu yenu." Na akachukua ile maji akaimwaga. What was David testing? He was testing whether these men are now great men. They are already mighty men who can help me when I cannot help myself. And that is the reason for mentorship. That is my desire as your pastor. I'm looking forward for the days when some people here, some years to come, we are not in any hurry. We are not in any hurry. This is not, split. This, this is not 100 meters. This is marathon. Five years, ten years to come, that someone will rise and say, Pastor, you cannot do this when when I am here. Sometimes when you see some church members honoring their pastors too much, you you mistake it for worship. It is not worship. It's not worship. Sometimes when you see a church member amefika mahali ameletea hata pastor ufungua gari na sisemi ufanye hivyo It is this man is looking at how much this man of God he has invested in himself such that he can never we want to look this man suffer And that is my purpose here is your pastor I want to equip you I want to duplicate myself into your life such that five years, ten years to come, utasimama hivi and you shall be a mighty man and nothing shall be able to challenge you. Maybe you came here a cowardice. You came here, ukua mtu unaogopu kisikia mapepo hivi unalia. But a time is coming when you shall arise and challenge every demon in the name of Jesus because you will have grown unto maturity. Probably you came here very weak. You could never quote even a single verse. But I'm telling you, I'm going to equip you by the grace of God. And a time is coming that you shall no longer be a babe, but you shall be a mature Christian, even winning souls. Sometimes I'll be seated down here and people will be preaching here in this altar. I'll be seated here and my sons and daughters will be giving deep mysteries that I am giving you and I will be excited. Why? That is the joy of a father. That is a joy of a father. They came to him in debt. They came to him maybe useless but now they have become useful. And pastor who will never venture to manipulate his disciples. He will venture to equip the saints for the work of ministry. And I want to equip you for the work of ministry. I want to equip you. You don't know. I want to equip you. Let me go very fast. Time is catching me up. 
Some people, you, the way you came, you don't start big, you start small. You, you start small, everyone starts small. Make it long. You, you start small. And I want to take you a journey in the scriptures. I want to show you because you must mature up. Kila mtu hapa lazima you mature. Okay. Uh, and that's why I'm taking my time going to the basics and show you some things here. I want to be simple. Simple. So that you may understand what I mean. Because I want to pick some people here and bring them somewhere here. Sometimes you, I will speak mysteries for the same that I'm mature. And sometimes I will speak simple things for the sake who are for the sake of those who are growing. That's why sometimes I will ascend, sometimes I will descend to make sure that everyone is taken care of. That's why I, I for a moment nilisimamisha kufunza series. There's a moment nilikuwa nafunza series for one month. Our new life in Christ. Nafunza hiyo nafunza hiyo. I realize some people are getting lost in the in the middle. So sometimes I will ascend for them that are higher, sometimes I will descend for them that are growing. Because a shepherd knows his flock. Now, I want to begin by saying that every believer, you begin from a stage called babyhood. 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 No one is born a full grown Christian. No one is born a full grown Christian. You are born a spiritual baby and then you grow up. You are born a spiritual babe. And then you grow up. You are born a spiritual babe. And then you grow up. First Peter 2 verse number 2. I'll read many scriptures. First Peter 2 2. You are born a spiritual baby. Then you grow up. pale. No, you are born a spiritual babe. Then you grow up. So the first stage of growth is called babyhood. You are born a babe, then you grow up. First Peter 2 2, read for me. Says, mm -hmm. as newborn babes, as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word. Desire the pure milk of the word. That you may grow thereby. Ha, boss. That you may grow thereby. The Bible says, as newborn babes, desire the sincere milk. Another version says, the sincere milk, the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. For a babe to grow, he must be given milk. The food of a babe is milk. And the milk must be sincere. Have you realized why some people are not growing in the church? It is because when you come to church, it is fire, 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 toka, yende, anguka, utabarikiwa. So you realize there is no pure milk. Uyu mtu anapeagwa snacks. Ni snacks ya nakulaga hakuna maziwa. It is the duty of a pastor to give milk to the babes in the spirit so that they may grow up. You can never grow up if you are not feeding on milk. The only way for a babe to grow it is to give him or her milk. No other ways. There is no other way for a babe to grow. It is to give him or her milk. And that's why I endeavor each every time to give you pure milk. Listen to me. Spiritual gifts are not a proof that you are spiritually mature. Listen. Spiritual gifts are not a proof that you are spiritually mature. Never mistake spiritual gifts for spiritual maturity. I'll tell you what is spiritual maturity before I finish. Spiritual gifts, speaking in other tongues, is not an indicator that this believer is mature. You can be speaking in other tongues, yet you are a spiritual babe. Hey. A man can be casting out demons. A man can be even healing by faith. And when you look at that man, he is still a babe in the spirit. Why? 
spiritual gifts is not an indicator that you are spiritually mature. A man may be singing here very well. well I may be singing, you are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. And everyone is falling under the anointing. Yet, this boy is a spiritual babe. Telling you, a man may be preaching in this pulpit very deep mysteries. Lakini ni mtoto wakiro. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. And everyone is kneeling down, is worshiping in tears. Yet that man is a babe in the spirit. Give me first Corinthians. Let me show you what I'm saying. First Corinthians chapter number four. Yeah. No, let me begin first. Uh, first Corinthians three. Sorry. Let us go. First Corinthians three. Let me show you. Spiritual gifts is not an indicator. Unezo lamdo na umbana tanks, mighty tanks, katu, kakaku, kakakakutua, rapoka, kakatea. Well, but that man is a babe in the spirit. But they, let me tell you, the men you see them speaking in other tongues, not all of them are mature. And this is the mistake we are, we, 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 we've got in the Pentecostal. A man might be speaking mysteries, deep revelations, but the man is a babe. I will tell you what is an indication of mature, maturity, where we are. Are you the fact that you can pray for five hours is not a sign that you are mature in the spirit. Oh, are you there? Three, verse number one. First Corinthians 3, 1. And I, mm -hmm. brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but, but as to Kano. Aha. As to babes in Christ. Did you hear? Paul and Asema, singe wa ongelesha kama wa to spiritual. But as to kano, as to babes in Christ. Ana wambia wa Corinzo, siezi wa ongelesha, there is a way you speak to a baby. Kila mtu askize. Kuna vile uwa unaongelesha wa toto. Bible says you don't speak wisdom to babes. You speak wisdom to them that are mature. Kuna watu, uh, there are people you can never speak, you can never tell them wisdom. There is a person I will call here and I rebuke. And when I rebuke that person, I will never see him again in church. Why? He's a babe. He cannot withstand a rebuke. He's a babe. We speak wisdom to spiritually mature. Anambia nyinyu wa koruza siwezi wa ongelesha kama watu machu, nita wa ongelesha kama watoto. There is a way we speak to babes. Uh -huh. Verse number two. I fed you with milk. Did you hear? I fed you with milk because milk is the food of babes. Ukitaka watoto wakue wapea maziwa. Hakuna ati kuombea while I pray for you. Uh -uh. Kitu cha kwanza ukita kabla uombe wape maziwa. Continue. And not with solid food. Mm -hmm. For until now you were not able to receive it. Mm -hmm. And even now you are still not able. Aha. For you are still carnal. Aha. For where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, and you are not carnal and behaving like mere men. Aha, good. By the way, any moment when you have a division, a strife, a mgawaniko, you are up and you are total to a meja. You are total. Hand time, anywhere you find there is envy, envy, you envy someone. I can sing better than you. I can preach better than you. And there is a lot of strife, a lot of division. Una kanyangwa kidogo hivi. A lot of division and a lot of a lot of strife. That is an indication that babyhood is thriving. Babyhood is thriving. He's telling, let me tell you, you don't know what is Corinthian. Raphael, take me chapter number one. Take me chapter number one, verse number four. You don't know. And I want to be a new total, but you don't know who we are, who we are Corinthians. Give me first Corinthians chapter number one, verse number four to seven. Upon you, Matu. One. Three. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I thank my God mm -hmm. always concerning you for the grace of God mm -hmm. which was given to you by Christ Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. That you are enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge. Ebu skiza, awa ndia walu watu anawaita babes. Anasema, you people, you are enriched in everything by him in all utterance. Utterance is speaking in other tongues. These are the men who spoke in tongues even for 10 hours. Awa ndia watu anawambia badu siyezi wa ongelesha kama watu macho. Though you are enriched in all utterances, these are the men who used to speak in other tongues and they could interpret their own tongues. These are the men who could prophesy to one another. Yet, anawambia, hey, though you can speak in other tongues for five hours, I cannot speak to you like spiritually mature. You still babes. Anawambia, hey, and all knowledge, these are the men who had apocalypses. These are the men who had epignosis. Awa ni watu, mtu walikuwa na kualisha hivi, anadisect scripture. Anadisect scripture, unaf, ah, huyu ni nani? They were believers. They had knowledge of the word, yet they were babes in the spirit. Verse number five, verse number six. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Aha, verse number seven. So that you come short in no gift. Mm -hmm. Eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give me, you have NLT? Yes. Verse number seven, NLT. Now, mm -hmm. you have every spiritual gift you need as you eagerly wait for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. These men, they had every spiritual gift. They could speak in other tongues. They could prophesy. They could they could heal. Una wanaegelea mtu mikono hivi anapona. Talk of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that now you have every spiritual gift you need. <laughs> Let me read the message. Message says, just think you don't need a thing. You've got it all. All God's gifts are right in front of you as you wait expectantly for our master Jesus to arrive on the scene for the final. Walikuwa na all the gifts. Let me tell you, spiritual gifts is not an indication that you are mature. And I want to repeat that one until it gets into your last stomach. Never mistake someone who is speaking in other tongues like he or she is mature. Never, never, ne never mistake anyone who is preaching fire, is breathing fire in crusades and in meetings and you, you think that that man is mature. He may not be mature. I'm not saying that all men that speak in other tongues are not mature. I'm saying never take it as a standard measure for maturity. A man might be gifted, but he might not be mature in the spirit. We are responsible for babies. Babies don't know what they can do. We are always doing, we, we, we are the only people who can do for, for them. We are responsible for babes. So wherever there is a babe, we are the one who are responsible. Who are our jelewi? And, the, and the one characteristic of a babe, number one is innocence. If you want to know that someone is a babe, number one is innocence. Is innocence. Innocence. A babe is very innocent. Very innocent. Very innocent. He does not have history. Very innocent. Ukiangalia mtoto tu tutakwanza na kuaga very innocent. Ukimwangalia hakuna kitu anajua. Anakwambia, "Mom, nifanye hivi. Mom, nifanye hivi." Let me tell you, even after we have grown up, even after we have grown in Christianity, I advise we maintain this innocence. We should maintain this innocence. Even after we become mature Christian, we should maintain this innocence to our mentors. Never outgrow innocence. A new convert is simple, full of faith, and willing to learn. A new convert is simple, full of faith, 
and willing to learn. That is innocence, willing to learn. Let me tell you, you can never grow if you are not willing to learn. Ukijamtu kumbia, umeimba vibaya, ana ukasirikia na sema, I know, you can never learn. A new convert is full of faith. Anakuaga na lot of zeal. Anakuaga willing to learn. Ukimamja, when you do this one, you will do well. Anasama, yes. Anas, even when, even when we mature in the spirit, let us maintain this innocence. Never come to a point whereby you don't have a teachable spirit. A man without a teachable spirit, you can never help him. Even God himself, he can never help him. You can never help a man without a teachable spirit. A man who has got a know-it-all attitude. You know everything. When we tell you this one, you know it. A know-it-all attitude. Or rather, you cannot tell me anything. Attitude. Cannot tell me anything. Attitude. If you desire to grow from babyhood into maturity, you should be willing to learn. Unauja pastor, hapa tufanya aje. Chairman, hapa tufanya aje. Mam, hapa tufanya aje. Uyo ni mtu ambaya ataenda mbali. Lakini kila mtu kila time anajijia zanga, anajua. You can, never, you can never go anywhere. Take it or trash it. Every time you are even ada ile say ile time umeajiriwa kule kazini for the first time every time you are asking niweke hii niweke hii nifanye hii lakini after three months unaona mtu akona kibele mbele sana hata kuniambia within 5 months umefutwa na kierere chako maintain innocence if you desire to grow maintain innocence Maintain innocence. Always, what can I do? Pastor, I want to grow. Pastor, you, you are always asking the men who have gone ahead. No matter how far you have gone, there is a place called forward. Listen. No matter how far you have gone, there is a place called forward. Even myself, I'm learning. You don't know. I learn you don't know how many sermons I listen per day. Sometimes I put a sermon of Mike Oropo overnight. I sleep over the floor listening to that man overnight. I listen to him overnight. You don't know how many pages of book I read every day. Within a day I can study 100 pages of a book. Studying, not reading. Why? No matter how far you have gone, there is a place called forward. Do you want to grow? You are like, how can I sing better? How can I sing? Na una kiburi, watana na kiburi kwanza. Watana na kiburi kwanza. Go down. Another characteristic of a babe is ignorance. 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 A baby is so much ignorant. I'm showing you. We are we are we are journeying, we are journeying, we are journeying to someone. It's ignorance. Babe is ignorance. A baby thinks that everything that comes in his hand is supposed to put it on his mouth. I'm talking of a babe. Babe, ni ule mtu ana, ule mtoto anategemea maziwa. That's a babe. Kama ananyonya ni mtoto. Ni babe. It's a babe. Because there's a difference between a babe and a child. There's a difference between a babe and a child. A babe is, a, is, a, is, is one who is feeding on milk. So a babe, everything, the moment that the, uh, the moment that me dad was a, a smaller babe, now he's a bigger babe. Alikuwa anasika kitu analeta kwa mdomo. I remember one time alichukua karatasi na akameza na akaanza kutapika. At that moment we don't know what to do. Thank God for my first aid skills. 
Mtoto hata anaweza chukua shilingi ya meze. And that's why we are responsible for babes. And if you are a babe, it is our responsibility to make sure you don't feed on everything. Kila mtu anisikize. It is the responsibility of a pastor. Kila time ask Jazinda lazima angalia haka katoto kake. Saa zingine anaweza kanachukua kitu kama meze. Saa zingine hata kanaweza weka eh, marage hapa kwa pua. A baby can do. Ada aneza, aneza chukua kisu na ajua ata kama ni kisu. Very ignorance. So we are responsible for, for babes. We must be watching over the babes. One, to make sure they don't feed on anything. That's why I always tell you, any moment you are going somewhere, make sure I know. Let me tell you, you may go somewhere and you go and feed on a certain diet and that diet will affect you forever. I have encountered men, the men who fed on a certain doctrine and they were corrupted to a point of no return. Why? Kuna mtu aneza kukuambia tu kitu hivi. Just a single word. And you are gone. You are corrupted. That's why we are responsible for babes. We to make sure you don't feed on everything. You don't eat everything. <laughs> on social media, don't look at everything. But then discipline yourself. Everyone, listen to me. Discipline yourself. We can get Facebook. Don't scroll everything. Atuliwajua tu wale mnaangalianga kila kitu. Tumewajua tu last week ama last month. Iyo, iyo, iyo tagging. Rapal tu unaijua. Iyo tagging. Say mama, my account has been, it was not hacked. Ni wewe uliku unajaribu kuangalia. <laughs> it was not hacked. Hallelujah. Bwana zifiwe. Abutu salimiana hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukingia Facebook, don't, don't look at everything. You are everywhere. There are people who comment everywhere here. The good thing is we see when you comment and we assume you have not seen. Kila mahali huko. <laughs> it's a very wicked group. I don't want to mention it. <laughs> but Mungu akusaidie. There are people you are everywhere. You are feeding on. You don't know how. You, but they, let me tell you something. You are what you feed. You are what you feed. Let zile ndoto unaotanga. It is a product of what you have been feeding on throughout the day. Let me tell you. Actually, yesterday after I, I had a short nap. Around uh, I began preaching this sermon almost karibu I began preaching it, all of it. Baga nikaamka. Kasema nitamaliza na niyakesho. I'm telling you. You are what you feed on. Kama wani mtu wakuangalia TV from morning to evening. You, you are, your life will be defined by what you feed on. Be very careful. Hatu ukipata newspaper, angalia kile kitu ya maana. Ukiingia WhatsApp, una watu wengine hapa wakona nine, mama nini anaangalia all the statuses. Uwa unashinana na nani? If you want to grow, limit what you see and what you feed on. Kuna watu wengine hapa, the channel that you are watching on television, do you know, let me tell you, Nasi Pride, there are some sermons I can never listen. How can I sit down to listen to someone talking about demons for two hours? How? How? Someone took casting out demons from 2 a.m. Mbaka 4 p.m. Na nikopale nangalia, toka, toka. Na wanapewa anointing oil. How? Am I out of my mind? There are channels I can never watch. Though, they are called Christian channels. I am very careful even to the men I listen to. I don't listen to just everyone. I don't listen to anyone calling himself a man of God. Even on Facebook, I don't follow anyone. I don't. And that's me. Because I know whatever you feed on, it reflects in your life. 
Characteristic number three of a babe is irritability. Irritability. Babes are easily irritated. Irritability. A babe is easily irritated. Kila kujua mtu ni babe ni babe in the spirit. Angalia vile anakwazwa. By the way, you can never irritate me. I am beyond offense. Hmm. Babes are easily spoiled. And when they get spoiled, they become irritated. Unaenda tu unacheza na katoto tu unacheza na mida ya diapo. Dakika mbili nasikia analia. Analia why? The one characteristic of a baby is irritation. Mtu mnaongea tu kidogo hivi mnaongea kidogo hivi amekwazika na ni hivyo hata haikuongelesha That is a sign of a babe in the spirit Babes you must babysit them you must pet them you must soothe them ni lazima uwabembeleze ni lazima uwabembeleze uwaongeleze vizuri mwana aku mwana utu inea mwa mwana uta panya mwa no mwana uka kanisa do okay we must do that because they are still babes we must do that that one we must do because we are responsible for babes but the desire of god desire that you may not stay there i tell the bible says that we bear with one another and we give allowances for their faults. We will understand when you are a, you are a babe, but uskai pale kwa babyhood. The desire of God that is when you are feeding on pure milk, you grow thereby. Lakini kuna mtu mwingine he has remained a babe. He has remained a babe. Ukimkanyaga kidogo hivi utamuona kanisa on Sunday. He's gone. And if you don't follow him, if you don't follow her, she is gone. He is gone. And that's why it is the, re- the responsibility of the mature believers in Koinonia Center to look at the babes in the spirit. Kama dada amekwazika muende. Hajafika mahali umefika na umlete kwa kanisa. Hello? Hello? Yes. It is the responsibility of the mature believers in the church to help the babes. Babes are easily frustrated. Easily frustrated. Anakuja hapa anaombea kitu we are taking over we are taking over god is blessing me god is increasing me within 3 months if he doesn't see the answer he gets frustrated he leaves the church and goes to another church why he is still a babe it's a babe he is easily distracted alikuwa na ulikuwa na ameenda vizuri ameenda vizuri ameenda vizuri Ukaangalia tu katoto za zingine kameshika toy kanacheza hapa. Immediately ukileta kitu kingine kameacha hii na kameshika hii. That is a characteristic of a babe. Easily distracted. Unaangalia dugu alikuwa anaenda vizuri vizuri sana. Lakini tu inakuwa ni kama tu yuta. Unashinda what happened? She was still a babe. Babes are easily hurt. Talking about irritability. They are easily hurt. They are easily hurt. One time we were casting out a demon. And I told you about this story. We were casting out a demon <laughs> in a certain place. Ilikuwa usiku. Raphael hiyo siku tulikuwa unateza na mapepo. Tulienda hapo saa tatu. Only one girl, small girl. Tulienda saa tatu. Na saa nane tuko hapo. Na tulikuwa wengi. We were more than ten. So it happened when we were casting out demon, that demon. <laughs> Now the demon became violent. And when it became violent, ikaruka juu. Na ikapiga dugu moja, actually it was an assistant pastor. Ikampiga dugu moja. Wa! Kofi. Dugu akakazirika. Why? Because hiyo demon imemleta katika realm yake. The man is still a babe. Demon ilimleta tu kwa realm yake the realm of senses jamaa akasika sema ndiko unaona himo ndiko siwezi nikapigwa hivi na pepo akasika kala kasa na kaangusha akaanza kupiga tukamwambia dugu hii vita si ya mbili na damu tukamtoa why 
the man is in the realm of senses. He's still a babe casting out demons. Why? Because spiritual gifts is not an indicator of maturity. Let me tell you, there are people who, who, here who are easily hurt. Who give a nyaki to kidogo hivya me kasrika na me jam. No, it's not hot to be like that. It's not hot to be like that. Okay, we are men, we are offended. But si atu na kasrika na kidogo kidogo, okay, nduka ni ni no that here. Ume fura kamandas. Ukiona mtu anakasirika garaka na vitu kidogo pete things he should grow up he should grow up eleni naendelea ninazidi kutembea maombi Yasikie ye bwana u mi pa di she bele na ndele slowly slowly make it slow zidi kutembea yeah like that babe I want before the end of this someone I want you to locate yourself there are people in church and we understand they are easily hurt they are easily offended and what attack get to pass our big there is a there is a moment here I had a very wonder a very a very wonderful member one day she missed a church service and I come big after you I'll call you I'll always call you Nikampigia hello how are you tukaongea leo ulipotolea wapi akaniambia bla 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 sawa nikamwambia it's okay so the following sunday she also missed the service so i said i will not call i said i will not call so she went every about mouthing saying pastor I was waiting for pastor to call me to ask me where I was. <laughs> There are people of got entitlement. So if you miss church, I call you this Sunday, you miss again I should call you again. No, a thousand times no. A thousand times no. You want to be oh, you want you want to be babysitted for how long? If you are not on how how go service leo na next Sunday you miss Tomorrow I'll call you, but next Sunday I'll not call you. Why? Because I want you to mature. I want you to grow up. Ujua, when you are missing the church service, you should communicate and tell pastor, I'm not coming to church. But every time if you grow with that habit, you shall become a burden to the ministers. The next level of growth is childhood. Number two. I'm, I'm, the next level is is childhood after you you go from babe now you become a child you become a child and let me tell you there's something that happens there, there's something that happens uh, Raphael, give me genesis 21 verse number 8 there's something that there is a transition that takes place between a babe and a child it is called winning it is called winning genesis 21 verse number 8 so the child grew and was wind so the child grew and he was wind and abram made a great feast on the same day that isaac was wind <laughs> and abram made a great feast on that day that isaac was wind hakuna kitu ngumu kama kutoa mtoto kwa maziwa umpeleka kwa chakula ask mom i am a father i know ask grace ask jacinta Hakuna kitu ngumu kutoa mtoto kwa maziwa umlete kwa chakula. 
It is not the process called winning. Because it's the moment that Isaac was winned, it was a celebration everywhere. Why? It is not easy. Babes would draw tantrums. Ukijaribu kumpea uti kidogo, she is drawing tantrums. Ukijaribu kumpea ugali, drawing tantrums everywhere. That's why the transition between babyhood to childhood is very hard. Ukijaribu kumkeme, una mambia si unakujanga kama umechelewa, si wawza kujia mapema. Anakasirika, anasema, pastor, you are too much. Why? It is now the winning time. It is not easy. If you have never, if you have ever babysitted, you know what I am saying. And that, that is a season when we are going to talk about the kanisa and the kanisa and the kanisa. Pastor is too much, too much. You cannot remain at that level. We must win you. Lazima is our responsibility. We win you. Lazima utoka kwa kwa babe into a child. We must begin introducing solid move, solid food. And to, so as I will come to you when you are baby, nitaongea na wewe pole pole. But when I realize now you are maturing up, nikija nitakukemea. Nitakukemea. When when me dad was a baby, atunge mkemea. But squeeze akicheza hivi tunamkemea because sasa hii ana understand kukemewa. Ukikemea kadogo hata akiwa kadogo aje akaizi understand kukemewa. But I'm moment no don't touch. Na nasikia. That's, that's what happens in the church. Sometimes when we see us rebuking you, don't take offense. Know that you are maturing up and you have come from babyhood. Now you are in another level. And the moment we are rebuking you, we are rebuking you because of love. We are not rebuking you because we hate you. Ama we want you to leave church. We want you to align to the purposes of God. We are helping you. And a pastor who can never rebuke you is not your pastor. If you are too big to be rebuked by your pastor, you don't belong to that pastorhood. Kamu tafika mahali kwa pastor wezi ya kakwambia, no, you better go and find another church. For you can never be helped by that man of God. That's why wakamba alisema, mwana andaneneba kwanya, mtoto wakui mkubwa kwa mama, ata ukiwa mkubwa, napigwa. Napigwa. So as we are growing up koinonia, we must understand the language of rebuking. Ephesian childhood. Ephesian. Ephesian chapter number 4 verse number 14. Give me. Ah, time is catching me up and I want to share many things. I hope God is going to help me. Ephesian 4. 14. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 12. But we should no longer be children. Did you hear? That we should no longer be children. That is after umetoka kwa babyhood, umeingia kwa childhood. You don't remain also in childhood. So he says that we should no longer be children. Continue. Tossed mm -hmm. to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Aha. Uh -huh. By the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. Give me NLT. Then mm -hmm. we will no longer be like children forever changing our minds about what we believe because someone has told us something different or because someone has cleverly lied to us and made the lie sound like the truth. <laughs> I love that. There is a certain clip that was going everywhere about Griffodola, about tithing. I didn't respond to it. See, children are always tossed to and fro. And I thank God men are coming to the truth. Men are coming to the truth. Because Griffodola was saying, we are not in the days of 10%. We tithe gracefully. We give gracefully. That is to mean you can give N percentage. And the men were everywhere throwing tantrums. I was just watching and listening. I didn't respond. And thank God men are coming to the truth. Men are coming to the light. Men are coming to the light. Those are babes. Don't worry. But we must sometimes rebuke them. Must rebuke them. 
that sometimes we we just okay listen Bible says that we should no longer be babes being tossed to and fro kama mtu ameleta ka doctrine fulani hivi na unasikia kama kana sound kama ukweli unatoka kwa pastor wako na unakimbia kwa hiyo doctrine that is a child i go read nlt again i want them to hear who is a child 14 eh, nlt 14 Then we will no longer be like children. Then we will no longer be like children. Forever changing our minds about what we believe. Forever changing mind about what you believe. Because someone has told us something different. Because someone has told us something different. Or because someone has cleverly lied to us and made the lie sound like the truth. Ama mtu amekudanganya na hiyo lie ina sound kama truth. When you hear something that is contradicting to what pastor is teaching you, you should come back and ask him, "Pastor, is this right?" That is a man who will grow. Lakini kama ukisikia hii unabeba hii, ukisikia hii unabeba hii, ukisikia hii unabeba hii, you will never grow. You shall be too and for why? Because a babe you can never depend on them. Babes they are unreliable. When you are you are dealing with babes, you can never rely on them. Wameshika hii, wameacha hii. That is the characteristic of children. They will begin something and they leave it halfway. If you are dealing with a child, unamwambia nani osha vyombo? Anaosha kidogo na anaiachia katikati anaenda kucheza. A child will begin something in the church, will begin doing something in the church. Ataanza kufagia kanisa very consistent, very consistent. Na akimaliza kama miezi mbili, anaachia katikati anamwambia kwani kulienda aje? Is a child. Is a child. Kuna mtu alikuja akamwambia, "Ah, kuosha kanisa ni ujinga." Na akaamini. A babe is unreliable. You can never depend on a child. They will promise to be with you 100%, but wait. Me have seen men have been around for some time. Au ni wale watu wanakuambia pastor tuko pamoja, kwa hii project tuko pamoja. Pastor niko kwa hii kanisa forever. Wait. Wait. When we are beginning means there is a man even before we began means we are doing another means he told me man of god i am behind you forever na kaniambia watu wote wakiachwa ni mimi nitabaki na wewe i'm behind you thank god nowadays is 100 100000 meters behind me <laughs> i think that is what he meant aliniambia wengine wakitoka nitabaki na wewe he was the first man to leave Never be worried when men leave church. Never. Maandiko inasema kwamba in the book of John, I think chapter number 6, the moment Jesus was teaching about I am the bread of life, Bible says even men of his disciples they turned back. Na akaangalia wale wafuasi wake 10 na wawili, akawaliza, "Even you, do you want to go back?" Sometimes give permission for people to go back. Give them permission to account sir. Hata nyinyi mtaka kurudi Peter akamwambia Tothiba, where can we go? You have the words of life. A son, a disciple who remain, a babe who live. There is difference between a church member and a disciple. A church member who live when conditions are not good, he will live. But a son and a disciple in that ministry, he will remain with the pastor even when things are not working why he just to be mentored anyone is prone to live in church hakuna mtu hawezi akaenda i'm telling you as your pastor i know hey kwani nani alienda anyone can go ana yesu aliangalia peter do you want to go john do you want you can go peter akasema no i'm here A son will remain. Ni viva ngevanye no kakwaku Wendo matendeka we monyanya watie kuti waniwe nekwasya bayo mwene mumona wendo 
Mwae kalanya na kwa Mwene mumo na uendo Mwae kalanya na kwa Another characteristic of a child It is curiosity It's curiosity Curiosity Babes I mean children Are always curious <laughs> Babes I mean children Are always curious Ile stage is high midad na kama wako ni hiyo. Akiona kitu anataka kujua. Every time we are going with midad, anatuliza anga, "Daddy, hii ni nini? Ukiana na midad utachoka." Every time, "Daddy, hii ni nini?" Why? Babes are always curious. Babe, I mean children are always curious. Children in the church, they were like, "Who did what?" What happened? Ukitaka kujua they are children in church. They are like, Haya, who did what? Very curious. What happened to sister so and so? They are always poking nose on the businesses of other people. Haya, kwa ni lizi alifanya aje? Kwa ni nani? What happened to Dorcas? These are the people in the church. They are like, Sasa, tukitoa sadaka, inaendaka wapi? <laughs> what does pastor do with our money? <laughs> they are always curious. They want to know, Nani? Nani bado? Ako hapo? Eh? Bado ako hapo? Bado hameoleka hapo? Bado anafanya kazi hapa. Paul says, when I come among you, I desire to know nothing except Christ and him crucified. A man who is mature, he will mind his own business. You come to church, listen to the sermon, interact for a few minutes, you go home and you come again on Wednesday for service. But men who are children, they are always asking, Haya, kila time ni mushene. Every time, mushene. You want to know what happened? What happened? Everywhere. I just remember this. Give me first Thessalonians 4:11. Let me show you. First Thessalonians 4:11. Time is catching me up, but I must. I'm almost winding up. I want to finish by one. I've got 14 minutes. First Thessalonians 4:11. Children, ni nani alivanya je? Nini ilivanyika kanisani? Ata kuna watu wako wapa kanisani na watajua whatever happened. Ata zile vitu wazina maana. Nani alikuja aje? Na awakuwa kanisani, they know everything. But you call this anything about the sermon I'm teaching, they will never tell you. They know about who did what in the service. First Thessalonians 4.11. Are you there? Ah, hurry for me. This should be your ambition. This should be your ambition. To live a quiet life, minding your own business. To live a quiet life, minding your own business. And working with your hands. And working with your hands. Just as we commanded you before. NLT. Mind your own business. First, this NLT. NLT. This should be your ambition. This should be your ambition. To live a quiet life. To live a quiet life. Minding your own business. That is NLT. I'm a, uh, yes. NLT. <laughs> NLT. Okay. Minding your own business. Yes. Uh huh. Finish up. And working with your hands. And working with your hands. Just as we commanded you before. If you want to grow up, kila mbwa niskiza after we really look at. If you want to grow and to maturity, sorry, you must teach yourself to mind your own business. Please, mind your own. Let me tell you, if you are here, you are scattered everywhere, you will never grow. Who is going to hire Who is going to prison worship? Who is going to intercessory? Who is going to go to Who is going to go to Nairobi? Who is going to go everywhere? Why? And I take a everywhere. Children, they want to be recognized. Children, they want to be recognized in the church. They want to be, it is me who did it. It is me who did it. But mature men in the church, they will do and they mind their own business. And 
Let me teach you something. Never, never encourage someone to come and give you mushene, mushene and some, some useless words. Never entertain. Stop. Stop him. Actually, uh, Jokayo, Apostle Jokayo advises, live while they are talking. Dokas. Haki dogas tuombe pastor. <laughs> Unasikia ni kama inakuja lakini mshene dogas haki tuombe pastor. Nilienda kwake. Haki wapendwa tuombeeni pastor. Si maombi ni mshene when they are talking leave. That is the best way to punish those people. Why? We are the body of Christ. Stop poking your noses on other people's businesses. Maintain your lane. Maintain your lane. You will have peace. You will enjoy church. You will enjoy this salvation. These are the things that have helped me. Another characteristic of a child, it is talkativeness. Kuongea mingi. Talkativeness. A baby will, a child will speak. A child will speak. As kine mida du anaongea, tunalala, tunamuaja, anaongea. You are tired. Another characteristic of a child is talkativeness. <laughs> and then this, let me see this one with a lot of humility. Sometimes, sometimes, actually not sometimes, psychology says. Women, they talk much more than men. That is psychology. That's why the Bible says a man shall live his own father, his father and mother and he shall, he shall be joined together with his wife and they become one. That's why the Bible does not say a boy shall live. If you are not a man enough, never marry. German can tell you these people they talk. Rafa, if you are not a man, if you are still a boy, these people they can talk. Because you I advise you as a father. <laughs> they, and that is their nature. They talk. Please. See what you may see Mimi, but we know. They talk. And that's why a man. A man, I'm not saying they are children. I'm correlating the two to give an advice to my boys, to my men who want to marry. If you are married, you must learn how to listen to your wife. I'm telling you, I'm helping him. Sometimes they will speak, they are speaking. Says, we just see one number I saw another meme. <laughs> I saw another meme. Show he's saying, "A wife amenulia banake a pair of socks." I'm ya. We won't villa ni mekuinua. We won't villa ni megusaidia. It's okay. If you are not a man, don't get into marriage. Marriage is for mature men. And if you are not, if you are not a lady, don't be married. Don't be married. You are born a woman, but you make yourself a lady. Every person is born a woman if you are in that gender, but you make yourself a lady. Yes. Oh yes, some people are rushing for marriage here, and every time like. Three months may achala. Let me go fast. Children have never learned the, the value of silence. They have never learned the, the value of silence. They are always looking at faults and failures of people not present. They are full of jokes, foolish speaking. Speaking and profitable things. They are full of 
foolish speaking, jesting, jokes. Say kana mtu ako na jokes excess, jokes in baya. Even sometimes I joke. Lakini kuna watu wengine wanakuaga na jokes excess even in church. Wako na jokes ziko excess. They are still children. Okay, me I joke. Them that we interact at energy uh, at the lower energy level, I joke. But I limit my jokes. Kuna watu wanaweza kujoke mpaka wanakukasirisha. Why? They are children. They are children. Read for me Ephesians 5:4. There's something I want to say here. Ephesians. They are full of themselves. Na ukianza kuongelea wanajiongelelea wao wenyewe. Hata nyimbo wakiimba nyimbo, huyo mtu anaimbanga nyimbo about himself. Nitainuliwa, nitabarikiwa, nitapanuka. They are self-centered. Even preachers who are still children, they are preaching self-centered preachings. Ephesians 5:4. Obscene stories. Obscene begin verse 3. Let there be no sexual immorality, mm-hmm. impurity, mm-hmm. or greed among you. Such sins have no place among God's people. Aha. Obscene, obscene stories. Obscene stories. Foolish talk. Foolish talk. And coarse jokes. And coarse jokes. Kuna watu anakona mchezo mbaya, mtu anaongea even obscene things. Na ameokoka. Na ni dada. Unasikia ile story anaongelelea hata unaibika kukaa pale. These are not for you. Good. These are not for you. Instead, instead, let there be thanks thankfulness to God. Aha. Uh-huh. Thank you. you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, these are not made for you. Now me, other watu wengine wa kijoke sana. Limit your jokes. You are born again. You are a believer. You want to be mature. You want to be mature. You uskae kama mtoto. Kuna watu utaongea hivi hata tu. We don't want to be associated with you. You are talking too much. When you enter into greatness, don't talk too much. Listen and learn in silence. Lakini kuna watu wengine ukiwakaribisha ni kama wao ndio walikuwa wao ndio walikuwa wamekuita. Mtu ataanza kukupea story atakupea unashindwa ni mimi nilikuita ama ni wewe uliniita. There are people when you begin giving them stories, some people are not listening to me. There are some people when you start giving them stories, wanaichukulia. Eka nkutabia mwano, sasa anayanzi hapo. Anayelezea na niwe ulikuna muelezea. Kita ya kata nake. You begin telling him, this is what happened. Ah, ah, mwano na kowizi. <laughs> so anayichukulia, anayelezea yote. It's a child. Amachua manu ulize. Amachua manu ulize. Because of time. Let me finish. The last stage is called manhood. Elders. I want to finish. You, 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 una toka kwa childhood. Now you get into manhood. Ama, what you call elders. 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 You become an elder. You become a man. You become a mature man in the spirit. And one characteristic of a mature man, if you want to know, number one, it is esteeming all the earthly things lightly. Esteeming earthly things lightly. They don't value the things of this world. Give me Hebrews 11.24. I want to go very fast. One characteristic of a mature man, he will esteem the things of this world lightly. He doesn't value things of this world. Ukita kujua mtu ni machua usiangalia tanks. Look at how this man values the things of this world. Kama anazivalue sana, jua huyu, huyu ni mtoto. This is a child, this is a babe. Abu angalia, Hebrews 11.24, I want to finish the next five minutes. It was by faith that ah. Moses, Aha. when he grew up, mm-hmm. refused to be treated as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Did you hear? When he grew up, he refused to be treated as a son of Pharaoh's daughters. Remember Moses, alikuwa na honor, alikuwa na wealth, alikuwa na prestige, he belonged to the kingdom. But the moment he grew up, he says, I am not esteeming wealth, honor, and the prestige too high. Why? The man has grown up. The man has grown up. When you meet a man every time he's talking about making money, making money, becoming rich, that man is a babe. Continue, continue, continue. 
he chose to share the oppression of God's people Aha. instead of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. Mm -hmm. Continue. Plenty. He, he Plenty. thought it was better to suffer. He thought it was better to suffer for the sake of the Messiah. For the sake of the Messiah. Than to own the treasures of Egypt. Very good. Than to own the treasures of Egypt. For he was looking ahead to the great reward Whoa. that God. For he was him. looking ahead for great reward that God would give him. That God would give him a man who is mature. He will regard the rewards of God highly more than the material things. You cannot put earthly things above spiritual things. And to expect to grow spiritually. Let me tell you. You can never expect. To grow spiritually. When you are esteeming earthly things. More than spiritual things. A man who will consider. To go and hustle on Sunday. And not come to church on Sunday. He will never grow up. Akuna. He will never grow up. By the way it is the desire of God for you to prosper. Give me, give me that John. Give me that John 3.2. It is the ni mapenzi ya mungu ukue na pesa utajirike. But let me show you the almark of the total prosperity of God. That John 3.2. Mm -hmm. That John 3.2. That John. Uh, John uh, that John verse number 2. Has got on one nini. Verse 2. Yeah, that John verse 2. Dear friend, mm -hmm. I am praying that all is well with you uh -huh. and that your body is as healthy as I know your soul is. Uh -huh. New King James? New King James? Beloved. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you are too. That's what. Beloved. Beloved. Mm -hmm. I pray that you may prosper in all things. I pray that you may prosper in all things. And be in health. And be in health. Just as your soul prospers. Kila mtu anisikiza just as your soul prospers. Anasema anataka u prosper, but you prosper as your soul prospers. Kila mtu anisikiza. If you are making money and your soul is not prospering, you are lost. You can have money and your soul is prospering. Bible says, for what shall what, for what shall it profit a man that he gains? Is the whole world until loses his own soul. The desire of God it is you make money while you are growing spiritually. Any job that is occupying you from Sunday to Sunday is not giving you an opportunity to grow in the spirit. It should be left, and I will never compromise that truth. Come on, Nafanya Kazi to Mapili, Kwana to Mapili. Kutoka January mpaka December achana na hiyo kazi it will kill you why that is not the prosperity of god the prosperity of god it is make money while your soul is prospering yes and i will preach this one this is the message nairobians they don't want to hear like your pastor to hustle you are hustling at the expense of your soul you people, do you know how? Do you know the darkness that is about to hit this world? is the thing, the avalanche that is about to hit this world. Gross darkness is coming. Let me tell you, and let me let me prepare you all in advance. Gross darkness is coming. How on earth can citizens of a nation? Leave where they stay and they go into the state house and they begin eating everything from where president is eating. How can citizens wanna talk a quote one a swimming pool? Yeah, president. How can you call that one? Where are we heading to? Ama, you don't follow news. That is what happened in Sri Lanka. Protesters they left their residential places. What kind of baga state house? Wakaenda ku swim baka kwa swimming pool wakaingia mpaka kitchen ya prezo you you don't know where we are heading to gross darkness is about to cover the earth and you 
are there in the name of I am making money. I am making money. And the people that are making money, we don't see even their support in the church. We don't. Even a hundred bob, we can't see. And that man works from Sunday to Sunday. And when we need something in the church, no, it is a system of Babylon. Babylon dictates that you make money and you don't bring it to church. You use it for yourself. Why? Because when you put money in the kingdom, the kingdom will prosper. So Babylon will hold you hostage. You make money for yourself, you continue becoming rich at the expense of your soul. Listen, when they give you an additional job, when they give you an additional salary at the expense of your soul, leave it. Leave it. When you get a job outside Nairobi, listen to me. Speaking like a pastor, if you get a job somewhere, an opening somewhere outside Nairobi, be at a camera it acqua 10,000 more. And you don't know the church that you shall be attending. It is better you leave the job and you remain in Nairobi. Darkness is about to cover the world. There are people who live here, they will go for money. Na huyo mtu ameenda ameshikwa na kazi na hata huyo enda kanisani at the expense of his soul. The next moment you come, pastor pray for me. Serving money, you can have money and you are suffering. I'm a true believer before unapata hiyo increment, unaangalia how am I going to benefit spiritually? Moses said, he, when he grew up, he said, no. No. I don't want this one. I want spiritual things first. Like, you know, you to Sunday, you can connection Sunday, you may talk. And you want to mature. You can never mature. Hello? Salimiane? Hello, those are the messages that Nairobians they don't want. So, Pastor, to Likuja Nairobi, you can put a Sawa, tafuta. I'll finish the other one about manhood next Sunday, if God allows. You esteem earthly things too high. And let me tell you, them that are having children, listen to me. Listen to me. The way you nurture your children, it is how they will value the church. Ukionyesha mtoto yako ya kwamba kukinyesha atuendangi kanisa, ata wiyo mtoto akikua, ata wiyo ikuja kanisa. Them that you have children, take it or leave it. You're like, the weather is not favorable. Let's sleep. We don't go to church. Even when that boy even when that girl will mature, atajua ya kwamba watu wa waendangi kanisa kukinyesha ama kukiwa na matope. I remember when we were growing up, Mambo can tell you, we used to go to a Sunday school and when the river was swollen, thank God for my mom and my dad, my dad was not born again. And when the river was swollen, all the villagers would gather at the river point and everyone alikuwa anakuja anavusha mtoto wake anaenda Sunday school na tukimaliza Sunday school walikuwa wanatukujia wanatuvusha the other side i remember those days that is how i was rare that you can never miss even Sunday school because it is raining walikuwa wanatubeba na the river was so much swollen ask mambo can tell you so much swollen I thank God for one of my angles. We knew that you can never miss church because it is raining. Sunday school. That's why I can never miss church at any cost. Why? Esteeming the things of God high than the things of this world. That is a mature believer. You can be speaking in other tongues and on Sunday you are resting. You can be speaking, preaching fire, but kuna kitu Kuna watu utaona hapa wanaongea na tanks lakini mtu ukimkwaza kidogo tu hivi kwisha ameenda why is a babe is a baby on the altar sometimes when you give you a platform on the altar doesn't mean you are mature we are giving you a platform for you to grow sometimes we give you a platform you think you are so much grown you are not a man who is mature in a spirit 
he will esteem akisikia kitu ni cha Mungu atakipea the first priority lakini wewe ile kitu unapeaka kwanza you think of yourself let me pay my rent let me do a, let me go and do shopping let me <laughs> that's why even some of you you don't even tie you don't you think of yourself you think of yourself so much you can do many things for yourself and let me tell you as i conclude never support other ministries more than you support your local church never give in whatsapp groups whether it's funeral whether it's medication whether it's what and you are not supporting your local church you will never grow thereby the local church is god plan for your life to grow on as we pray it's time that we grow up it's time that we grow up you come to a point where by hakuna mtu anaweza akakukwaza unatoka kwa kanisa eti mtu amekuongelea kidogo hivi umeenda mtu amesema nini umeenda you need to come to a point acha la ukamlo tell you number 2 one character of our men it is deadness to praise Hakuna mtu anaweza kukusifu whether umesifiwa whether wamejua kama ulifanya kama wajajua you are doing it to God you are dead to the praise of men you are dead to recognition you are utakangi kutambulikana that's a mature man bow down your head i want us to pray bow down your head Inazidi kutembea Give me that song 